Hello. It's Tuesday. Sonic Tuesday, which would play as a joke if this were Sonic 2 and it were 1992 again, but it's not. It's 2007. No, wait. It's 2017, and they made a new Sonic game, and it's actually not that bad from what I played of it. I downloaded it at like 4 in the morning last night and played like a level, two levels. It's pretty good from what I played so far, and I wanted to play more of it, so I figured I could either just do that on my own, or I could stream it, and I haven't streamed in like a week and a half, so I'll do that. Thanks for subscribing, Toman John 11 and Space Jammer Slammy, and Wind, and everybody else that I may or may not have missed. Also, Devis. Let's see... I spent entirely too long trying to think of a, oh, what was that? Trying to think of a title for this stream. I eventually settled on Sonic is cool again. No way, no way, no way, no way. Which is I don't know if I'd say a particularly obscure Sonic reference, but if you get it, that means you and I are on the same page at least in terms of Sonic knowledge. Thanks for subscribing five months in a row. Ornar, nine months, Hakun, 11, Alley Cat, eight, Big Fat Animal, Factory of Sadness just now, and Dr. Sabaton for three months. There. This should be streamed in the Sonic community. Don't worry. I've taken care of that. I'm streaming. So initially, I tried to have my communities read Sonic, Depression, and Knuckles, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, it's now made an entirely new game that's just called Depression and Knuckles, which sounds pretty good in and of itself. Like, I'd play that, but unfortunately, the Sonic came after. Maybe it's the sequel, or like, the spin-off of the first Depression and Knuckles. Like, it's Depression and Knuckles colon Sonic. I don't know. I tried changing the order of the things. No matter what I do, it always comes out reading Sonic, or I'm sorry, Depression and Knuckles colon Sonic. So, sadly, I could not change that. Thank you for subscribing three months in a row, Field Century, four months in a row, Blind Janitor, and just now, Sock Puppets, and 27 months in a row, Smiling Sphere. So, yeah, unfortunately, I can't seem to fix that. Also, unfortunately, I'm having a bit of a dilemma because I run the Sonic community. Somebody else runs the Sonic the Hedgehog community. Now, this one has only 16 streams, but the Sonic the Hedgehog community has 31. Now, I think that's pretty, pretty shabby, and I'm willing to go to war over this, because this is what my banner looks like, and that's a good banner. When I think of Sonic, I think of that, or I can't drag the banner onto it, but you get the point. That's Sonic. The, the other Sonic the Hedgehog community is like, oh, I don't know, what if we just put clip art and not an enlarged picture of Sonic's gigantic vector face? You know what? That's not gonna fly. This is my reaction to your crappy banner. Thumbs down, except this hand is like one too many fingers, but aside from that. This is what I think of your community banner, Sonic. Wait, I hang on. I, there we go. Kablam. Perfect. So in case you ever stream a Sonic game, or a game about the concept of Sonic, like a game that involves any kind of sound, you are welcome to do so in the Sonic community. We welcome all, as long as you obey the rules, which I don't remember what they are, but I'm sure they're dumb. Also, thanks for subscribing. 24 months in a row, K Jade, and four months in a row, Sean Hannity, 55. Seven months in a row, that B, 24 months, Rainy Kins, and 10 months in a row, Pig Pug. So... Let's see. Uh, Twitter. Uh, D. 
Did you know Sonic Mania in Japan is called Doki Doki Panic? Yeah, whatever. It's, it's good enough. It's my new, it's my new joke. I'm gonna run that one into the ground. Thanks for subscribing four months in a row. Uro was here four months in a row. Wait, no, I just said that one. 29 months in a row, Santana. 11 months, Pie Man. 10 months, Pig Pug. So, it's been a while since they made a new 2D Sonic game. They put out Sonic 4 in, I don't know, and then Sonic 4 Episode 2, The Revengeance, which was also not very good. And then a bunch of people who uh, I vaguely recognized from when I used to post a bunch on Sonic Retro came together and made this. So the people who made some of the enhanced Sonic ports for mobile, like the Taxman, put this uh, together with a bunch of other dudes, and it is really good, actually. I played a little bit of it before it came out, and I was worried it was going to be kind of over-the-top and gimmicky and not particularly fun. But no! It's actually really enjoyable from what I've played so far. And that's saying a lot, especially considering the strength of some of the recent entries in the Sonic series, which, while of a very high quality, mostly went under the radar, like, uh, oh no, wait, I need this, where's this ROM, I need this for a joke, uh, wait, hang on. Uh, oh no, where's that ROM of Crazy Sonic? Uh, pretend there's a really bad Sonic ROM hack up there and you are all laughing. Ha ha, ha ha. Uh, I can't find it. Alright, whatever. Ignore that part. Wait, do I have it here? I think it's this. Wait, this just says Crazy the Hedgehog. Yeah, okay, close enough. Wait, no, this is not what I'm thinking of. This is something entirely different. Sonic has had its ups and downs. Like Crazy the Hedgehog. Who is green, for some reason. And it plays Shinobi 3 music. And also screams like a man. I... I don't remember where this one came from. <laughs> Come on, champ, you can do it. Huh? Huh? You just gotta... No? Uh... uh. Well... That's crazy. Why do I have so many Sonic ROMs? Oh man, you have only seen the half of it. I have... So many goddamn copies of random Sonic things. You should see. But then there are even more obscure Sonic games you might not be aware of. Uh, for example, from the makers of Mario Kart Hot Pursuit, with cover art that looks like that, there are a whole bunch of other more obscure Sonic games, including, I don't know, Sonic the H, and then Sonic Ultimatum, you know, Sega got really tired of putting out mediocre Sonic games, so they finally released the Sonic Ultimatum, or um, Sonic Boomerations, you know, some of these games were met with mixed critical acclaim, but it seems like at least Sonic Mania is putting it back on track. Like Sonic Speedball RPG the series, or Sonic Legacy on the Switch, or Mario and Sonic Brainwashed, or Sonic Rush Saga slash I Didn't Mean It. These were all fine games in their own right, but... I think Sonic Mania might be slightly better than all of those. And with any luck, the capture card will work, and it won't break. I tested it out briefly beforehand, 
but I'm also kind of an idiot, so this might take a sec. Hey, there it goes. Video games. There we go. Unfortunately, there is no space on the side for a chat, but I have the chat up, so I will pretend. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna give Mania 10 starts. There you go. Just load it up, close it 10 times. 10 starts out of 10. Thank you for subscribing 38 months in a row, double guns. You can check out all the great screenshots I've taken like that. That's not Sonic, but you know, if you draw some blue crap on it, it's, oh, I don't have like, I don't have drawing capability on this, do I? No, I don't. There, it's, it's a spine. Oh, you can't see the video. In case you couldn't see what I was doing, I have this screenshot and I was trying to turn it into Sonic to make sure the capture thing works. Unfortunately, I'm not able to draw, so the best that I could do is put a bunch of less than symbols on everything and call it a day. But it's not quite the same. Anyway, I'll just start this fresh. So the home button is kind of not super responsive when this game is playing, which is sort of an issue. It's only an issue if you want to stop playing Sonic Mania. So as long as you really, really like it and you never need to turn the switch off, you're set. There you go. Problem solved. Sega! Also, the fact that the game starts like that is the best thing. Go. How is the volume? I haven't had this set up for a little bit. Oh no, I think it might have put the CRT filter, not the CRT, the blur smoothing whatever filter on ladder. Okay. There. Has a fresh new intro cinematic. It's great. Like, my takeaway from this is that so much love went into this game in a way that you normally don't see from a whole bunch of mainstream games. You know, like, yeah, they might put out quality Mario games or something, but it doesn't seem like it appreciates the franchise like half as much as Sonic Mania does. It's so good. Yeah, I like how the floors go 1, 2, 3, Knuckles, and Mania, because it excludes Sonic CD. Which it should, because it's bad. The music's good. The game itself, not so much. Isn't this animation done by the guy who made that Sonic the Horge Hog Flash thing? I think that's about right. The intro cinematic for this... And a lot of the cutscene art was done by a guy who started off in the community by making a bunch of parody um, flash animations making fun of Sonic. So that's inspirational, I guess. You could be hired by people whose product you spend a lot of your time bashing, but as long as you bash it ironically, it's okay. Did I turn the filter off? I can't tell. No, I guess I did. Barely tell the difference on this. You've never played a classic Sonic. So I kind of grew up almost exclusively on Sonic. Every Sega console I bought was only for Sonic, and I played entirely too much of it. Does this mean I'll be working for Sega one day? No, see, I don't ironically hate Sonic. I actually despise Sonic.
and everything he stands for. But I'm willing to put aside our differences for one day only. Thanks for subscribing, Technoc, for five months in a row. Turn that up a little bit more. Hopefully not make a feedback echo. Let's see. I don't think there's anything much else to change. Sure. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on none, unless you really want the CRT filter. Uh, so I played two levels of this. Uh, I'm not so attached to the progress, or I don't mind throwing it out, so... Let's start that again. Thanks for subscribing three months in a row, Bad Duty 95 but Look at all the extra little frames of animation it has for everything. That's great! And I love how they made Robotnik's theme just like evil Jet Set Radio music. All you need is a new fan-made Streets of Rage. Hey, that actually exists! Look up Streets of Rage Remake, it's really good! See, the cool thing about Sonic Mania is that it, you know, embraces more things in Sonic than what Sega feels like embracing when they make a Sonic nostalgia ploy. Because you think about what was in, like, Sonic 4 and whatever, and, um, you know, their whole, hey look, it's retro Sonic thing is pretty much just... Well, we have checkerboards, and the music sounds like a MIDI, and it's 2D, and every single song has that single Genesis drum beat sample from Sonic 2, you know the one, and that's kind of it. But this has so much more, and it's fantastic. How's the control? Fine, as far as I can tell. I mean, the Switch's D-pad's in kind of a weird place, but other than that... The Blue Sphere sections control better, I think, than they did in the Genesis, because the control feels more immediate. It's actually 3D, I think, instead of whatever the Genesis is doing back in the time. And these are the original, I think, Blue Sphere levels. I don't think they made new ones, or if they did, they haven't shown up yet. Because I remember these layouts from Sonic 3 and or Knuckles. Oh, sorry. I didn't get the perfect clear, you're right. So again, I've only played some of this. Uh, so I don't really know everything that's in it past, like, Chemical Plant Zone. Which, oh man, has the best boss fight of any game I've played. If you haven't seen it yet, it's so good. It's so incredibly clever. Do a drop dash. I don't know if I have that yet. I unlocked the super peel out, or whatever it is. I don't know what button activates that. Maybe you can only have a certain number of powers to begin the game and you get more later on. I don't know. But it's so good! The music's really good. Uh, the guy who made it, I don't know if you pronounce it T. Lopes or T. Lopez. L-O-P-E-S. But he's been making Sonic music for a while. Um, back when people at Sonic Retro were trying to make Sonic 2 HD, which may or may not still be in the works because that kind of fell apart due to dumb community drama, uh, he made, as far as I'm aware, like the complete soundtrack for that. It was all just remastered Sonic 2 music. 
which I remember people sort of criticizing because it was on a pirated copy of FL Studio, but other than that, it all came out really well. You know, it's just neat to see all these uh, individual uh, fan works kind of come together into this really complete commercial product. You know, and one that retains, like, all of the best qualities of a fan game in terms of just, you know, risk-taking, not necessarily worried about making everything super... Not accessible, um, but like, I don't know, just more daring with how it puts everything in. You know, it's got a bunch of references, a bunch of gameplay features that aren't necessarily inherently obvious, but if you have played a whole bunch of old Sonic things or other Sega games, you would totally get. Also, I don't know where the other blue spheres are in this. Oops. I think this one might actually be partially new in terms of layout. Oh, there it is. I did not get the collector's edition. Apparently the statue on that is kind of bad. I saw some people complaining about that on Amazon reviews. Where the hell am I going? for subscribing, Scoops Hagen Dazs. I'm trying to read your thing and also play this and not lose. Uh oh god. <laughs> this is really hard to play and read the chat, so if you've said anything incredibly insightful, unfortunately, I think I missed it. Oh god, where is the last bit? There's a square of four, and it is somewhere here. And I'm sure this is hell on the bitrate. Uh... No. Is it that way? No. No. Did I go- Hey, there it is! Great. Ta-da! Also, thanks for subscribing, Zizam, 11 months, Jedi Zora, and whoever else I might have missed as the screen was scrolling far too fast. But I guess I'm just really pleasantly surprised because I did not expect this to be as solid as it is. And it's full of so many great little touches. Like that. That animation where he jumps up, puts his finger up, that's from, I think, a beta version, a beta screenshot of, I think, the first Sonic? Where when you, uh... cleared... whoops cleared the zone, he was supposed to like jump up and hold his hand up like that. Didn't make it into the final game, but they put it in this because why not? That's so good! It's got the zip lines from the Game Gear Sonic games, sort of. Although if it has the minecarts, I might have to turn this off. Subscribing Cannibal P. Oh man, that's the thing from Knuckles Chaotix, where you have like the big 3D ring in the little room. Don't play Knuckles Chaotix, it's bad. I'm not actually sure how you get in there. No, because Sonic Mania so far feels like one of those games where. You know, do you ever like a game a lot and you wish, oh man, I wish I could wipe my brain and go back? and play it fresh for the first time again. Because this is pretty much that. It's 
familiar yet totally new. Also, yeah, I know the big ring things were in Sonic 3, but the way that it spins in 3D is uh, very reminiscent of Knuckles' Chaotix. Oh man, they should have a Chaotix mode for this. So if you never played that, it's a game where like Knuckles is tied to some other crappy Sonic B-grade character. And it's got like rubber band physics and it's completely unplayable. But it's kind of interesting as a concept. I'm trying to get back to that ring. Is this worth picking up if you've never played a Sonic game? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, I have no idea how you get in that thing. Hmm. Oh well. Oops. What do I mean by rubber band physics? Okay, I'll show you really fast. Uh... So... This is like half Sonic Mania and half old Sonic garbage appreciation stream. Ignore a bunch of this. So... Before Knuckles Chaotix came out, there was a beta version of Knuckles Chaotix, which was known as... where is it? Du -du 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 -du. Don't pirate video games. Unless it's Knuckles Chaotix, you shouldn't have to buy that. There was a beta proof of concept thing for Knuckles Chaotix that was just called... It's under S for Sonic. It's Sonic Crackers, which, yes, is the name. Or Sonic Studium, depending on if you want to look at the ROM header. And when I say rubber band physics, this is pretty much how Knuckles Chaotix was, except finished. They're just tied together, and everyone bounces around. And when I mean rubber band physics, I mean... Like, you throw your character, and they move, and also you can just hold start and go to the very top of the map, and when you go there, the game crashes. So, there you go. It's not very good! Also, when you move, Tails' tails fall off, and when you run too fast, his arm detaches from his body. Then again, it was a proof of concept, although at the time, I really don't understand how somebody at Sega could have looked at this proof of concept and thought, you know what, yeah, no, we want to make a game exactly like that. And then it has these stages, where there's nothing there. Again, this isn't an official product, but... I mean... It has arm-detaching technology, and as far as I'm aware, most Sonic games don't feature dismemberment, so that's... pretty innovative in its own way. Yeah. Alright, enough of that. Oops. But if they put, like, Knuckles Chaotix, Sonic Crackers, rubber band physics DLC in this, that would be the best worst thing. Oh man. I'm still trying to get that special stage, I don't know if I can. Is it that? Hey! There you go. Thanks for subscribing, Dodger. So I've only played one of these special stages, and I'm not particularly good at them, but it's like the ones in Sonic CD, sort of. But I think the model they're using is based on either Sonic Jam for the Saturn or Sonic 3D Blast. But yeah, I don't know, it's just full of so many little throwback things like that. It's great. Oops. 
Or maybe Sonic R. I don't remember. It's probably a very similar model. Yeah, mode 7. Look, I'm just happy they didn't make the special stage of this another goddamn half-pipe. That's what every Sonic game does for special stages. Hey, remember Sonic 2? It's got the half-pipe. Ta-da! I guess that's also sort of another issue with when Sega wants to make nostalgic Sonic, they pretty much just pull from Sonic 2. Whereas this, I think, pulls a lot more from Sonic 3 and Sonic CD. Sonic 3, one of, if not the, best 2D platformers of all time. Sonic CD kind of is not that great, but the music's good, so... That's enough, I guess. Yeah, so this is a new special stage with a different uh, layout than the original ones, which is why I don't know where I'm going. Oh god. Uh, hold your comments in the chat for a second. I will get to that. I will get to them. Oh god, Sonic, don't screw this up. Okay. Yeah, the, the half-pipe bonus stages were good the first time, but I never want to play them again. Did I ever watch the Sonic OVA? Uh, parts of it? I don't think I ever sat through the whole thing. Oh man, wait, that burns? Oh, that's so cool! Oh man! Oh, I'm out of crap to burn. Wow, that's really clever. And makes the game way harder for some reason. Does it burn the bridge? No. But honestly, I'm really kind of surprised at how much I'm enjoying it. Sonic doesn't burn bridges. I don't know. You played Sonic 06? Sonic Mania. Oh, it's so good! I was worried the level design would be kind of crappy. It would be full of extra little gimmicks that just bounce you in different directions like Sonic CD had, but it's really solid so far. Weird, I'm not used to actually enjoying video games. Oh. There we go. Let's see. I'm not... Oops. I'm not really sure what the medals get. Oh, crap. No. Oh, no! I'm not sure what the medals get you. They're not Chaos Emeralds, so I guess they don't really matter, but... Whatever. Oh man, even more special stages! <laughs> uh, it would be nice if they switched this up a bit. Oh, no, I already screwed it up. Ignore that. That was uh, a test. Metals unlock secrets. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Final boss from Sonic 2. Which, like most things in Sonic, you can just kind of cheese, but...
Thanks for subscribing two months in a row, Oz of Sin. It's a hell of a way to start the game. And the music is so good. You know, seeing them actually embrace some of that, like, Jet Set Radio styling, which I think still holds up today as being legitimately cool, is great. Thanks for subscribing four months. 